Hello everyone, today I want to show you this instant 18,000 items per hour dropper elevator which is also mostly silent. So it works instantly as soon as you put an item in at the bottom, transfer the item up in one go. So no matter how high this tower is, transfer the item up instantly. It's also quite lag friendly because it doesn't use any redstone dust, mostly observer blocks. And yeah, let's put in a few more. You can see here at the top they would fill up rather quickly, so that's the maximum dropper transfer speed. Of course, you can also attach two hopper lines at the bottom, you need two sides, because dropper is twice as fast as a hopper, if you power him this fast, and yeah, let's put in some iron blocks as you can see here, to get transferred upwards. So of course, there are no items left behind, so if you look in the droppers, you won't see any item, and the only noise it makes is after the last item is transferred, it would click twice more because you yeah, have the delay of the comparator here and so on. That's pretty much unavoidable. So a little explanation how it works. It's not totally trivial. We take an output from the bottom drop, of course. Then we start this little observer clock here. And then we transfer the signal upwards for observers and back down again. So here's another observer tower that leads downwards, and then those observers receive updates from the yeah, downwards facing observers, powering those repeaters which power the droppers. And have to go up and back down again because of the update order of those observer blocks. They would always update the last observer in a chain first, and I also have to use repeaters if we would try to power those droppers directly with the observer block. I would get quasi-connectivity issues. That's why I need those repeaters. The system works in every direction, but if those repeaters are facing either north or south, you could even make it cheaper. In this case, you can remove every second observer block that faces downwards, and it would still work. Well, let's put in some items at the bottom. You can see here it still works, but only if the repeater is facing into the dropper from the south or the north. So here we have the other direction. Let's also put in some items in here. See here it still works. And yeah, if you want to do it east or west, you need the full chain of observer blocks. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. There's also a small locationality issue with the 5 Hz clock that I couldn't work around yet. I didn't find a solution yet. But I tried it out in 25 locations and only one location was affected. So I marked it here with a gold block. So here at this location, the repeaters get stuck. But there's a simple fix. Just have to add more redstone dust. Like this. And then it works. So this is again, I think, a locationality issue of redstone dust. But I tried it out 35 times, and most of the cases it works like this. So hopefully I'll find a workaround, but I tried for half an hour, and uh, it's a little bit weird. I also tried it for comparator clock, by the way, um, but there, it was even worth with that. So here you can see, for example, one of those 5 Hz server block clocks, and you get some weird issues with for example, attach a repeater here, then yeah, doesn't pulse that fast. Um, yeah, I think we need to figure that out first. And here's a short tutorial on a six high tower. So we need a yeah, comparator, then yeah, that doesn't matter. Then face into a block, then need to attach a torch. And here we need an observer block. Taking the input here, I'll put it into this block. Then we could also add the repeater for the droppers. Of course, every second block. And then at the back, we attach the observer blocks. Then we need the downwards facing observers. So I'm just gonna do a version of all of them. Then the upwards facing ones, like this and then block up below, and here we also need a repeater, and 
Then we add Redstone dust and we have to connect top servers on the top, so transfer the signal, just put a block above and power drain here. This way we can transfer the signal. And now add a chest on top and we can put in the items at the bottom here. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.